Collie's fracture is a uh, fracture of the wrist, uh, in particular a fracture of the uh, distal aspect of the radius uh, as part of the wrist. Uh, it's more common as uh, people are more active, uh, a lot of uh, sports and biking uh, results from a fall into an outstretched hand, uh, which is uh, almost instinct for someone to put their hand out if they go to fall in that type of an event. The treatment of uh, these type of collies fractures or distal ra radius fractures vary from uh, placing an individual into a cast and treating it with immobilization. If it's a displaced fracture or a fracture that is out of place, it may require a uh, reduction or a maneuver to uh, place the fracture into more acceptable alignment. It still may be able to be treated in a cast after that manipulation. Uh, this x-ray here is an example of a Collie's fracture or a distal radius fracture. As you can see here, this is the distal part of the radius that has uh, been displaced off of the shaft of the radius here. It's almost like ice cream falling off of the cone. This is the ice cream and this part of the radius is the cone. Uh, so this is displaced and with a reduction type maneuver we place the uh, distal part of the radius back on top of the shaft of the radius or the ice cream back on the cone. Once the reduction is made, uh, depending on how stable the fracture is, uh, it may be held in place just with a cast. Uh, if it appears to be an unstable fracture, meaning it won't stay in place once it's been put back into place, it may require additional fixation uh, with uh, surgery, uh, uh, possibly placing pins, uh, plates and screws are sometimes used, as well as fixator devices that are placed on the outside of the wrist. Uh, in terms of recovery and rehabilitation with these types of uh, fractures, uh, one that's treated in a cast, typically uh, an individual being in a cast for five weeks, maybe even six weeks, and then require uh, therapy afterwards to regain their range of motion. Uh, as far as with uh, surgery, uh, with pins it's about the same amount of time. Uh, however, now we have newer hardware where we can place plates and screws that are very strong and durable and will allow us to uh, initiate their exercises sooner. So as soon as the stitches come out at about a week to 10 days, we actually start moving their wrist. Well, there are risks and benefits of both uh, non-surgical and surgical treatment of these types of fractures. Uh, with any fracture, there's always a risk of the fracture not healing uh, or healing in an uh, unacceptable position. We call that a male union. Uh, with surgery, there's always a risk of infection. Uh, there's a, w a risk the hardware could fail or break. If someone falls at home, uh, initially uh, what they can do to uh, help alleviate their pain, make themselves more comfortable so that they can uh, be transported to either the office or to the emergency room would certainly be if they have any uh, small boards around or a piece of cardboard that they could uh, possibly place underneath their wrist to help immobilize it, even wrap it with uh, an ACE wrap or some type of sheet to help uh, stabilize it, applying ice as well uh, and elevating it until they can uh, seek medical attention. Uh, certainly can help with pain and swelling with the initial injury.